Hi everyone, I'm Chong Chen Jen. On the issue of 20% oil royalty and 50% tax collected in Sarawak to be returned to Sarawak, many has accused DAP of breaking the electoral promise. As such, it is incumbent on me as the chairman to give a full explanation on the whole issue. I will provide a background of how this came about. On 26th of April 2018, three weeks before the GE14, the leaders of Pakatan Harapan Sarawak Amana, Chairman for Sarawak, Fizuan, PKR, Barubian and myself for DAP, we have presented this New Deal Agreement to Wisma Bapak Malaysia, which contained the offer of 20% oil royalty and 50% tax collected in Sarawak to be returned to Sarawak. Clause 2.2, we are committed to fiscal decentralization and shall devolve the power of taxation such that Sarawak shall retain 50% of all tax revenue collected in Sarawak. In addition, Sarawak will receive 20% oil and gas royalty or value equivalent from the federal government. The government of Sarawak shall use this fund to shoulder the fiscal responsibility of the federal government in education and health. This shouldering of fiscal responsibility is to be accompanied and guided by good governance, practice, a high quality of service delivered, competency, accountability and transparency. In essence, this 20% oil royalty and 50% tax collected in Sarawak to be returned to Sarawak is for the Sarawak state government to shoulder the fiscal responsibility of healthcare and education in Sarawak. Basically, it is part and parcel of our promise for the decentralization of power. Sadly, he rejected it, saying that we have no authority and they do not want to enter into this new deal agreement with us. For 20% oil royalty, it's about 8 billion a year will go to Sarawak government. And 50% of tax collected in Sarawak is about 5 billion. We have also looked at the the government expenditure in healthcare and education in Sarawak. All the hospital expenses, the building of hospital, the salary of the doctors, uh, nurses and the medicine costs in education, the teachers' salaries and the cost of running the schools and building the schools. This 20% oil royalty and the 50% of tax collected will be more than enough for the state government to shoulder this fiscal responsibility. All these years, we as Sarawakian have been complaining that healthcare and education in Sarawak has been lacking. And this is the opportunity for us to get back this autonomy to decide our own destiny. But Sarawak GPS under Abanjo rejected this offer. It was a golden opportunity. And that's why now, until today, healthcare and education is still under the jurisdiction of the federal government. So I hope I've clarified this issue on the 20% oil royalty and 50% tax collector. It's not that DAP has broken the promise. And it is part and parcel of the fight for autonomy in healthcare and education. But the GPS government, they, they rejected this offer and they just want the money for them to use in whatever manner or whichever way they want, which is not our promise. <laughs>